Anna is now here from Credit Ag Agricole. Um, and she'll be joining us momentarily. Her talk is uh, API as a product governance. Great. So then, um, so we've heard the stage setting around digital transformation um, and the um, uh, the business models that uh, the like thinking about the business models and the elements of the business models that would enable um, APIs to be rolled out as products. Now, though, we've got a talk that's looking more at once you are taking that product management approach, then you still need sort of governance processes to be able to um, manage those uh, APIs consistently. Um, I'm excited to hear what Susanna is going to um, share with us around their learnings. Credit Ag Agricole has some has a catalogue of APIs, um, so it'll be great. To, so there's, I'm sure there's a lot of experience there that Susanna can share. Hey, Susanna. I think you might be on mute. No. So you might be on mute. No, I can see that you're not on mute. Um, no sound though. We'll see whether Ivan, our stage hand, uh, backstage is furiously Replugging in cables back there, I guess. Making sure your mic's working. Tapping the mic. So we've got a great series of talks today while we sort this out. Um, so our focus here on this stage, on this in this track, is the products and monetization. So maybe Susanna, can I ask maybe if we can, um, if you could step off and then maybe re-enter the room. Maybe there's that. Refresh your browser has been suggested. Thank you. Um, yeah, the old uh, plug, uh, unplug it and plug it back in again. Uh, that's how everything gets solved. I love the uh, developer comments uh, where the, it's it's really like, like it was working yesterday. I don't and now I don't know why it's not working. Um, the uh my code my code was working yesterday um it's better or it, that's better now you're here is it good yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> it may have just been some yeah yeah uh, finished, you gremlin know. in the system yeah uh okay wonderful could you share your slide deck with us please Good. Wonderful. Okay, I'll jump off and leave you to it. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> hello everybody. Uh, I hope you feel good. My name is Susana Manzano and this is my avatar. I am API architect at Credit Agricole Technology and Service. Uh, I like modern art, uh, grow vegetables and flowers. And I like also share a good meal. I will speak about API as a product governance. It's only an overview because we can speak about this topic for hours. But before beginning, I would like to share with you this photo taken during a trip with my sister. Changing places, changing time, changing thoughts, and changing future. Yeah, this is an artwork of Maurizio Nanuti, and it uh, sum up my vision of world. I mean, to change the future, we need most of all to change our thoughts. Something like the thinking, think out of the box. Well, companies, small or large, must be resilient to adapt to change. Sometimes these changes are imposed. We have the current example of COVID, but sometimes these changes are chosen. And in these conditions, the result is, is very amazing. So the company where I work, I know as well the change, the changes. We are the IT partner of the 39 Credit Agricole Regional Banks. And, and, and banks are, it's okay for the, it's okay for the, for the screen share. 
Okay. So uh, we yeah. are the yeah. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. That's Thank what you. Okay. 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 I think it lags. <laughs> So uh, we are the IT partner of the 39 Credit Agrico Regional Banks. And you know, banks are one of the companies that uh, live continually changes. We are approximately 1,500 1, employees based in six sites in France. And we are very proud to have a perfect equality between women and men. We manage uh, the single uh, and multi-tenant information system of the Credit Agricole Regional Banks. Um, we manufacture, uh, uh, we manufacture, design, and and operate uh, the the products, and we uh, ensure the requirements and level of user. Our goals. Um, are responding challenges of the distribution of banking products and services, improving continuously customer experience, uh, and reducing time to market for the new products or their evolution. Our way to reach uh, the goals are investing in people skills, uh, using innovative and practical tools for accelerating our production cycles. Now, follow me through time travel to API as a product. So, sorry for that. Uh, in 29, uh, we implemented the service-oriented architecture style we as a web uh, services. Uh, in, 20, in, 20, in 2018, we lived, uh, sorry, in, 20, uh, in 2015, uh, we began to speak about API economy, open banking, and we built the center of API project. It was uh, the seed for the next steps. So we were a community lovers of API, and we are, so we are centralized in API experts. We built it, the API as a project, and uh, we had a technical governance. Um, what was a mistake? Absolutely no, because when you have an information system with a legacy, you need to uh, you need to go on progressively. And in uh, 2018, we left a digital transformation. So this transformation changed our organization to become an agile team organization. And we began to change our mindset through product culture and we align our information system in loosely coupled products. Sorry. Today, uh, we have the API as a product culture, uh, the new mindset with a governance with a product of governance. But for us, what is an API as a product? This new mindset brings us to build API for long-term value at a scale, evolve the API to meet changing customer needs, and the advantage is we can gain speed and autonomy in the implementation of value-added digital products. We explore the data in connection with the architecture and urbanization strategy of the information system. We improve the resilience of the information system, its robustness, and its scalability. And we can create the new business models. We have speak about uh, API governance, but 
the key, what is the five key missions of the API owner? The API owner ensures the business ITM value. It's obviously, if your APA uh, was created, if your APA doesn't create a value, uh, it's, uh, it's not a good thing, you know? So for that, he used the API business canvas. API, <coughs> sorry, API owner answers also the life cycle, the creation of the API, and it operates in product. But the API is not alone. Uh, there are a squad, so a pizza team, who help to ensure the life cycle and operate in production. Obviously, it promotes the consumption. So an API uh, needs to be consumed by the application for creating this amazing experience for the customers. And the API owner needs to measure also the KPIs. For the API lifecycle, our life cycle is next. So we can see the continuous exploration and continuous integration. And after that, the continuous deployment. The tools we used is uh, release management for cover the, uh, the, 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 all the entities. For a continuous exploration, we have the enterprise agile planning and product and ease of tracking. For continuous integration, we have the version control system, the request testing, and continuous integration tool. And for continuous deployment, we have the continuous de delivery tool, uh, the continuation, and the AP manager. One of the most important thing for us is the API manager and API store. So with API manager, you have, we have the gateway, publisher, key manager, traffic manager, and real-time analytics. But the most important is the store for, for doing the promotion for the API. So in the store, uh, you have uh, the value for the API, the information, the guides of consumption for developers, uh, uh, the, the uh, support also and the sandbox. And you have two examples. So this is uh, our private store because our consumers are in internal group, group. And also we have the DSP2 store, all the TPPs and for doing, uh, for doing um, uh, aggregating banking accounts and uh, initially payments. It's important to track in API KPIs. I read somewhere that if you make things without objective, you have only the, uh, a to-do list. So defining API KPIs is an essential part for understanding not only how they work, but also their effectiveness and impact on departments, user, or partners. So our KPIs are free UX. So in the UX, we have the number of consumers application, the number of business line covered, and the number of users. In ROE, the return on investment, we measure the build cost, the run cost per year, and the percent of uh, information system modernization. TTM, time to market, we have the number of API launched per year and the time life cycle. So here you have an example of the dashboard to the, these metrics and uh, also the performance, the performance canvas.
Now, uh, I want to illustrate the API journey. So I want to reform my father with instant payments. So, hi, Daddy. This is me, my avatar. Hi, Daddy. I thank you for buying the gifts. I will refund you immediately. So for that, I even I identify an authorization. I sorry, I make the identification and authorization. Uh, is a squad uh, in this, or the owner is squad for this API. We have the SPR, the API X Connect to ensure the identification and authoriz authoriz authorization. And after that, I visualize my account, you know, for, for visualize my balances. And this product, so account, it's managed by an owner squad and the API with an API is accounts. After that, I will request for uh, my instant payment to pay my father. So this is another owner squad and uh, who manage this API payments. And after that, we call CIA payment services, Credit Agricole payment services. Uh, by an API. It's Credit Agricole payment service that executes the instant payment. When they execute the instant payment, they notify us with another API, instant payment service. And the new balance is updated. So I can visualize the new balance with the API account. And to finish, everybody is notified with the API notification. And with that, I can receive the, the message for my daddy. Welcome, I just received the transfer. So, for us, we, I, I want to share with you the three lessons learned. First of all, business must understand and embrace the potential of APIs. Otherwise, they will only be technical interface. Second, you need business metrics to measure API value creation. This is the more important. The creation of the value. If you have not value in your API, also you have uh, you have to do the technical interface. And the API owner is responsible throughout the life cycle. With that, you have a governance and API as a product governance versus a technical uh, governance. Uh, so. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, the question. Sorry, I... <laughs> How's that? Okay. okay sure. yeah. yeah, it's good, Mark. Thank you. I think I don't know if the presentation it's uh... it must have been though it was a fantastic presentation. Um uh, apologies for the glitches. There must be something um that's been going on this morning. We've got a gremlin in the system. That that was a great talk. I loved the part about the KPIs. The, yes. So at the moment, the KPIs. So then in Europe, as you know, we've got the um, uh, the second payment services directive, which requires um, banks to open up their APIs. Credit Agricole has actually been doing this before. 
uh, PSD2 came along, haven't you? Uh, we have the web services. Yeah, you already, I think you already had APIs before the regulatory requirements for APIs yes. came along. Yes, yes, in yes, uh, we have the we are making the APIs, uh, you know, with the model, the Richardson model, uh, uh, the level zero and one. Um, uh, so we make uh, our web services to to, pro to in the APIs, you know, and so we can. Uh, but it is, I think it is was necessary because. Uh, we have a, a big legacy, and and we um, so uh, how to do that? But we we have the uh, uh, so for, for for exposing the functionalities, you know. Um, but in this moment, at this moment, this is not a very good API, you know, because uh, you don't expose the data; you expose only the activities. But it was the first step. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going to go with the KPIs? I mean, that's an area where I'm really interested in, and I guess it fits with that the theme for this track on products and monetization. The, I love how you've broken it down into three areas. So you've got the um, uh, the sort of ecosystem and then some of the performance and the ROI of your eight yeah. KPIs. But um, one of the... So with the KPIs on your ecosystem, it's like number of users yes. of, your, of your APIs and then some on the return of investment and the time to market. With the, yes. the users, where can we go as far as measuring the value that is uh, received by those users? Yes. Um we measure this value because uh, we have uh, we have the business line covered, you know, and uh, for example, for credit, for credit, for loan, sorry, <laughs> for loan, for uh, so we can measure because there are another application that consumes these APIs. As when you when you build the APIs as a product, so you identify the the value to create. Okay, so. We have the the, the 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 different applications, so we know that we know who consume the API, um, and it's important to know that because you can um, you can follow these consumers, you know, know this consumer to uh, to create more value, uh, to 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 listen uh, to listen uh, uh, the, the 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 new need, you know. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, okay, cool. The um, My apologies, we'll have to ask you to leave the stage now. It's time for our next speaker, but thanks for um, sorting through the um, glitches and still bringing your presentation in on time. It was well, well done. Thank you okay. very much, Mark. <laughs> See you again. See you, bye-bye.